I got to meet the one and only Carl Lewis, eight-time Olympic gold medalist. He was Usain Bolt before Usain Bolt. Alright vlog, reporting live from University of Houston's brand new indoor track. Super cool in here. Uh, it's one of the best indoor tracks in the nation. It is a bank track, 200 meters. I'm, I'm loving it right now. This, this track is super cool. Um, they've got one of the best sprint programs in the nation. Uh, they're 4x1, uh, they're 4x1, won the national championship last year, set the collegiate record. So really cool to be here right now. Okay, vlog just went on an absolute adventure. We were leaving work um, right in rush hour time, so we left. It was terrible. It was terrible traffic. Make matters worse, we took a wrong turn. We took a wrong um, exit on the interstate. There's a million interstates, and they're all interweaving with each other, so it was very confusing. We took the wrong one, ended up going the wrong way. So it ended up taking about an hour, 45 minutes to get home um, from the University of Houston. So not ideal. Today was a pretty solid day. Very cool thing today. Almost forgot to mention it. Got to meet the one and only Carl Lewis. If you don't know who he is, look him up. Eight time Olympic gold medalist. Carl Lewis on the near side. And on the far side, Ron Brown. And America may have got one, two, three. One of the best sprinters of all time in the United States. Got to meet him. He coaches at the University of Houston. Very cool experience. Very cool guy. He was Usain Bolt before Usain Bolt. Chilling out in bed now, eating my dinner, which I usually don't eat a huge dinner today. It is a purple sweet potato and some peanut butter. It's a very odd combo. You might not have even heard of a purple sweet potato before, but very good. Lots of antioxidants in there. But yeah, waiting to Skype with Hannah right now and then probably go to bed. It's about 7.45. Never gave you guys an update on my morning run, so... Yeah, this morning did another easy eight mile run and averaged about 6.40 a mile, which is about a minute faster than my normal easy run pace. But with this taper, I'm feeling really, really fresh, feeling really good. Had a few strides on the end, just to freshen up the legs. I really think strides are important the week of a race, especially. I mean, if you're running 5K pace for these strides, they're gonna make marathon pace feel quite a bit easier, so. It was raining a bit, but it was a warmer morning than it has been, it's about 55 degrees, so. Really solid morning. Tomorrow I'm just gonna do a short workout, so check out tomorrow's video.